Hey guys, so I wasn't really going to discuss this just because I haven't verified it at all, but it was too good to not at least mention. So I was on one of the many Summer Wells Facebook groups. It's a great place to go and at least try to catch up on some of the highlights of different YouTubers content that are covering Summer Wells because there's so many creators out there covering it. It's impossible to watch all of them. So this is kind of like a good place to go to at least kind of get the highlights or really important things that might have happened um, on different lives or different videos pertaining to Summer Wells. And one person was talking about a creator who I guess the channel is called White Boys. I, I don't know who that is. And I'm at least somewhat familiar with most of the creators, I think, that are covering Summer Wells. If you know who this is, White Boys, Please put the link down in the comments because I'm dying to watch this and I tried going on YouTube and putting it in search and it brought me up some really strange things, but definitely not their page. So allegedly this person commented saying that Don Wells was on a live either last night or the night before and stated that he and Fred Hill discussed and came up with this story together referring to Roy Cotton Simpson and that whole story that's circulating from Fred Hill. Now, at first I kind of dismissed it. I thought, no, that's a little crazy even for Don Wells. Then I remembered the fake call to Mary and then it seemed less crazy to me. So I don't know. This is the only place that I've heard this, this one comment on this Facebook Summer Wells page. I haven't heard anybody else say anything about it. I don't know if you have, but I have not. So tell me what you think about that. First of all, if you know who this creator is, please put it in the comments. I can't find them. I don't know who they are. If Don Wells really said that, I, I'm flabbergasted. I don't even know. Like I said, the whole Mary thing makes it at least plausible, but even still, if your child is missing and you're making up stories about who her abductor is, and, and allegedly the whole reason that they made up this story was just so that Fred could give this story to Ziggy. Specifically, this was aimed for Ziggy to be the one to get this story. So I, I just don't, I don't know what that could all be about. But if there's any truth to it, the thought that any person, Don Wells or anybody else, would make up a story about who allegedly kidnapped or, and then caused the child to become deceased and made it up just to give the story to a YouTube creator, I guess to what? To make Ziggy look bad when it came out to not be true? I don't know. I don't know. But I really would love to follow up on this, except that I can't find this creator. So hopefully one of you know who it is. So other than that, I mean, other than that, that being absolutely huge, if there's any truth to it at all. Other than that, there's a video going around where Don attempted to make his own live and he deleted it, but some people did screen record it. So I was able to see it and you'll probably be able to find it too. And in the background, Candace was clearly under the influence of something and it was actually just really sad. I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions about Candace. I have my own. But this was really just tragic to watch. I mean, she's clearly still struggling with a lot of addiction. Um, she was like on this unmade. I don't mean unmade like she didn't put her quilt on nicely. I mean unmade like not even a sheet over a rather 
dirty mattress and she's slurring her words and it it was um it was a lot to see and you know you just you just think that this could have went one of two ways for these people who clearly struggle from all of this addiction the disappearance of their child could have either shocked them into getting help and into sobriety so that if she ever came home or in the very least that if the boys had stood any chance of coming home that they could make a proper home for them or the disappearance of summer if or if they aren't involved could have been the final straw that would plummet them to such depths of their addiction that there would be no coming back from it and sadly it does seem like that is the direction that these people are going in. Now I've seen Don a lot recently talking where he seemed to be very sober. And for a short while I thought, well, that's really good. He seems to be getting sober. So maybe with some clarity and some sobriety, you know, we can start to get some answers in this case, but it doesn't look so much like that is going to be the trajectory of this. I don't think that sobriety is in the near future for this couple. And that's really sad on a lot of different levels, but in getting answers in this case, that is not gonna be just him, you know, arguing back and forth on different YouTube lives with different people, you know, he spends so much of his time just arguing with people and, you know, inst instead of focusing on this case and how best, you know, to move forward and help authorities solve the case, he's just kind of all over the place, just, you know, personalizing. Well, I mean, I guess he would personalize it because when people say it's pretty personal, but you know what I'm saying? Like he can not stay off of YouTube's lives and, you know, um, he gets really close to different creators and then he has falling out with them and then, you know, argues with them and slanders them and then moves on to the next one. And, you know, always he's falling for the false narrative that these people are on his side and that, you know, they're his friends. You know, this is going all the way back to the days of Cher and, um, and uh, Benny and nothing's changed you know he's still falling for false motives that people are putting out there they they just want Dawn on their lives be look if I could get Dawn on my video I want him too I get it I mean I I'm not saying anything about them I get their motivation get him on their live get him talking and you know hopefully get some information but he does not understand their motives so he gets on there and he, you know, shoots off at the mouth and maybe talks too much. And then all of a sudden he gets some disagreement with them and then he gets angry and he blows up and it's just a bunch of craziness. But, but anyways, enough about all that. Really my main point of this video was just to talk about that comment and um, see if you've heard it, if you can tell me who this creator is. And uh, yeah, I'm dying to hear it for myself to see if, that was actually said not that even if it was said I'm not sure that we could actually believe it if Dawn said it but it would definitely it would it would blow my mind it would blow my mind even with the source that it's coming from so I will see you soon have a great night bye